All right, I'm on hole number eight of the Pacific Cup Tournament. I'm in Monday's qualifying round of the rookie division. I had started the day off with the full intent of practicing today, but um, I started off, I was pretty much on fire. I got a eagle, a albatross, and then I've eagled hole number four, that, uh, that par four. So let's see if I, I'm still proxying on seven. I haven't got seven completely. I haven't got the shot that I want to take on seven dialed in yet, but I will as the week goes on. I will get that one dialed in. Hopefully I can, I'm going to try and practice and maybe get that hole during the week here. So let's see here. Pacific Cup tournament. What are we on? We're on hole number eight. Hole number eight. Let's go back in here. So hole number eight is Juniper Point. And it's hole number seven. This is, this, I love this hole. This is a definite, definitely hole in one of them. And so what I like to do on this hole is I like to come here with a sniper. And whatever club you decide to hit with, I like to put my white rings so that my white rings are rubbed up into this spot. And so my I'm down here and I want, I'm trying to get this spot right here as low down on the hill as I can, but I like to put my white rings up there because it gives me, I can set it up in the same exact spot every time. You can see the way that this works is there's a little pad down here and here's the center line. And so right here at this crotch, it's flat right here. And so I'm trying to get as close to that flat area as I can so that when I come in on my bounce, I'm hitting a flat area instead of hitting on the hill. So it goes like this. You got a little bit of flat area and then you're coming up on the hill and you're getting up towards the green. If you're hitting up here on the hill, if you hit a little high on the hill, a little low on the hill, this bounce. So you came in like this. If you hit right here, you know, you got a perfect bounce. You hit up a little bit higher on it. It may take a flatter bounce. You hit a little bit lower on it. It takes a higher bounce. So your in your end result down here can vary hugely if you don't get this spot right here dialed in. So that's why I've tried to, I've got my white rings rubbed up against the rough on both sides and I'm trying to wedge it in there so that I can be in a consistent spot. By hitting down here on the flat, what's happening is it comes like this and then it goes up the hill. When you're hitting down here on the flat, the first bounce comes here and then the second bounce goes like this and, and is landing up in this area here and then running up towards the cup. So I have actually bounced over the hill. I haven't really engaged this hill. Whereas if you hit here, you're going to have a bounce that's here, and then you're going to have a bounce that's here. And so you're engaging that hill. And I want to bounce over the hill. I don't want to bounce that he bounce on the hill. And we'll see how the wind is blowing here. I'm not sure. Like the last time we played this, I was on fire on this hole and got quite a few hole-in-ones that week. But I'm not sure, and, and we can use a power one ball with low wind, so like a carnival ball or a popcorn ball. So my notes say that I'm going to do one and a sliver of topspin. And so we'll see how the wind's blowing. I In the past, I didn't do a wind adjustment on this. But I think that we actually do need to do a little bit of a wind adjustment, maybe like a 10% wind adjustment if we're aiming right at it. Uh, let's. I'm going to just go out there this first time and just hit it straight up and then see kind of where it ends up. So I'm taking a sniper and I'm going to take a navigator because I can swap that out for one of those low wind balls on the weekend so I can save these low wind balls for the weekend. I only have eight of the power one low wind balls and there's two holes in this tournament. So... If I played that every round, then that's 10, and I don't have 10 of them. I only have eight, so I'm going to save those for the weekend round. Let's see if I can dial it in with the nav. Here we go. Sniper, one and a sliver of topspin. And I put on here a slight push to the right on the on the curls. So like not pushing up, pushing into the nubs, but like pushing against the nubs. And I think that the last tournament, the wind was blowing from the right to the left. And that might have been my compensation for like instead of adding on 10% for the wind. 
to try and get it to come back around to the right. And we got the same kind of win we had in the last tournament. So I'm going to just do a straight up shot and then see where it ends up and really try and focus on hitting perfect. See where my opponent gets up there. And they're bringing a big power five ball. That blows me away. Oh, I wish I could get that power five ball. People are wasting power five balls on these types of holes. It just like blows me away. So I want to be right wedged up into that spot. One and a, just a sliver of top spin. Three, three. So I'm going to do a three, three pull. And try and hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. Give myself a look and we'll see if the wind adjustment, like if I do need to make like a slight wind adjustment on this. And so I'm and in the past I've been just a little a little to the uh, left of the hole like that before. So I think that's why I was adding on that little touch of, of right hand curl just revving up against it and so i think i'm going to make a note on my sheet here to plus 10 percent win now when i do the 10 percent win this is for my game where i'm shooting with the ball i have with the club i have and so the deal is is that i'll keep working that number and see if i can dial that into the hole so if you start off with a 10 and you keep you know or if you're making adjustments like that be willing to, if you hit perfect shots and you're off, this is why it's so important to film yourself because you can go back and look at it and go, okay, hey, I set that up right. I did everything right and I was still off. So then that's when you need to make a change. But if you go back and you look at it and go, dang, I messed that wind up. I didn't take off enough wind. Then you don't make any changes until you hit that perfect shot and you know that you set up everything right and you're still off then you need to make a change. Otherwise, you're going to continue to be just a little off. But that hole and this hole right here in the tournament are extremely hole in one ball. So we want to make sure that we get our numbers dialed in for these holes because these are holes that if you hit perfect, if you hit perfect on that hole or the hole that we just played, you should be in the cup. And I think on both of those, I'm going to add a little bit of wind on. So on that one, I'm going to do a 10% over pull and, um, and work from there. All right, that was hole number one, hole number eight of the Pacific Cup. And Monday's qualifying round in the Ricky Division. Thanks for watching.